Does your child hit the grade? Does he or she need a bump up? Or do they need some help from the lower part to excel? That's what our last topic here is about. It's about tutoring. I'm joined by Effet Aman, and she owns a company called Kumin Math and Reading. Effet, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having us. Um, tutoring is always one of those things that uh, people aren't sure of. Why tutoring? Why would tutoring be such a, a, a choice for some people? Well, I'm finding dealing with the parents that they're finding that the school system isn't, uh, it's pretty relaxed. And uh, and by having the enrolling in Kumon or having tutoring, it enhances their studies at school. So whether your child is doing well or a subpar or over, uh, something like a, a Kumon program would help them get there, right? Absolutely. Kumon is uh, is an individualized math and reading center, uh, reading uh, reading center and uh, it helps them with their enrichment as well as remedial yes so I want to talk about uh, Kuman is a learning center and there's also tutorial what's the difference between a tutoring and a learning center what's the the key well tutoring um, is more dependent based so you have a one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two -on -two, so you're dependent on that tutor whereas Kuman it teaches you to to learn on your own to, mm. we are teaching the children to teach themselves. So it creates independence. And uh, by that, they learn, they have value in what they've learned. So there's there's two levels to look at this, I would think. One is enrichment, where, you're, uh, where your child is already to a level and you're trying to take your child to the next level or you believe that he or she is is gifted and it's 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 a push beyond what you as a parent can do. And, and the other one would be remedial, where your child isn't quite getting it as best as he or she could either from their own uh, uh, fault or the teacher's fault. Uh, how, how do you deal with those two things? Well, Kuman will help both of those individuals. Uh, we, we do an assessment when, they, when the children come in. We give them, a, we observe how they're doing, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are. And depending on that, we develop levels for them. And because it's individualized, um, if they're enrichment and they're doing really well in school, uh, that teacher is restricted to give them that grade, only that grade level. They can't give them anything above their grade level. When they attend Kuman, the ceiling there is no ceiling it's the sky's the limit so if they feel like doing a, a grade above their grade uh, current grade level or a year or two above they're welcome to do so it's all individualized it, it's interesting when uh, whenever you've been involved with the children I, I mean I was a hockey coach I was a, a, a cub master they uh, they believe that their child is the best always the best how do you deal with a parent who walks in with a child with their like their their expectation is their child is gifted and you have to give them the reality check. <laughs> well, it's it's actually, um, it's good because they actually see that. And when I do the assessment, the results are right there. It's black and white. Um, you know, like they said, the proof is in the pudding, right? And you, we talk to the child, we talk to the parents, and it's, it's actually a, a team effort. And then they've actually realized what the truth is. Mm -hmm. What would you say the ratio is between uh, en enrichment and uh, how would you say um, a remedial, like the, between someone who needs to go to a learning center or who wants to go and wants to go higher? It's basically 50-50. Yeah, I, I don't think there's a, a unbalanced scale in that mm -hmm. respect. There are children that really are challenged uh, and, and want to go above their grade level and they're enthusiastic about it. And, and then there are children who, you know, unfortunately, they're not up to par. And uh, and, and when they're in the school system, you, you know that they feel a little bit of anxiety being there. They're not uh, at the same level as their peers. And uh, when we do the assessment and they, I say, okay, listen, we're going to do this worksheet or we're going to do this type of work, they feel really, really confident about it and they feel happy that that's the work that they can do. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that um, has been a, a consistent complaint is math. I mean, now with the advent of the computer, we have spell checks. Spelling is and is spelling doesn't count. They're stopping cursive writing. There's no mental math. How do those characteristics uh, play into what your program does? Well, and that's why there is this need for Kumon or uh, a learning center like Kumon because there is no mental math. The, the, the basic fund fun, uh, fundamentals of mental math or basic reading comprehension or spelling tests, they're, they're not there in the school system anymore. They're giving calculators in grade three. Uh, they're, uh, they don't, there's no spelling tests. So with, uh, with this basic need or basic fundamentals uh, in Kumon, the children are, it helps them with their other studies in school as well. Well, we, we have an advent of technology where kids uh, prefer to spend more time downstairs going like this all the time or going like this all the time. How do we take them away from that and motivate them to, to enjoy learning? 
Well, basically, because it's such an individualized program, there's no stress created, oh, it's too hard or it's too easy. It's just right. And when you are, and Kumon is more of a habit forming uh, uh, curriculum. So it's something like you do every day. You, you, go, you, go, you have breakfast every day. So you want to do Kumon every day. So once that consistency is, is built in, it's just automatic. So is it a class format? Is it uh, multiple students with one teacher? How, how, does, how does the configuration work? Well, so the Kumon program is uh, as early as two and a half years of age, preschool up to grade 12 math. Mm -hmm. The aim is for high school math and reading. So the earlier you start, the, the, the better. You start. It, so Aman, I want to give you a second to tell the folks at home how they can get in touch with you. How, how can they get in touch with Kumon? Uh, you can uh, get in touch with us at bramptonfocus.ca slash Kumon. And and are our classes filling up? I mean, I mean, yes. yeah. I mean, okay. if you were to, with about thirty seconds, I always have to ask this question: What what is the thing that kids are lacking the most now that you see a reoccurring problem? You know, it's the mental math. Mental math, basic yeah. Basic reading skills, yes. Mental math. Well, listen, I want to affect Aman. I want to thank you so much for being here and uh, representing Kuman Math and Reading. That's uh, really cool. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for having me.